Hi everyone, Chris Corey, State Representative from the 14th Legislative District, proudly representing Yakima and Klickitat Counties. So recently, the Supreme Court of Washington upheld a law passed by the legislature a few years ago that taxed capital gains as an excise tax, not as an income tax. Why is this important? Well, under our state constitution, income is considered property and subject to a uniformity clause, which means you can't tax certain people at certain rates. It has to be a tax uniform across the board. This bill was designed and classified as an excise tax to get around that, and unfortunately the Supreme Court upheld that decision. The good news is, is they didn't overturn prior rulings that have classified income as property, so it's not just like we can pass a progressive income tax tomorrow. It's important because Washington has a competitive advantage without having an income tax. It means better jobs, better businesses supporting our economy, and we want to keep it that way to ensure that Washington has a robust economic future. So we are currently in the budget phase of our session, and we have recently unveiled both the operating capital and transportation budgets. There's a lot of good that is in those bills, both locally for the 14th Legislative District and for the state. So from here on out, we're going to be having a robust discussion over the priorities and needs of the state, and we'll be voting on those bills shortly. So one of the questions we often get asked is, are there new taxes coming? And the answer is yes and no. Uh, while there may not be a new direct tax, we are seeing a number of fees and increases around fuel, transportation, and various other licensing, where those are taxes that are passed on to the consumer. And I will continue to oppose new taxes and fees on the people of the state. So the Blake decision, which has been in the news a lot lately, was a decision that removed the crime of possession of drugs. It essentially, through a Supreme Court ruling, legalized drugs on our street. And I don't think that's the right direction for Washington, and I know most Washingtonians agree with me. Uh, we have some bills that are moving forward now that provide some updates and fixes to that Blake decision. It's not nearly as far as it needs to go in terms of holding people accountable for their actions as well as providing treatment options for those on our streets that are desperately in need of substance abuse and rehabilitation. House Republicans, myself included, will continue to work to strengthen the bill to ensure that whatever we can do will be the best for Washington State. So I want to thank you for taking some time to watch this video today. You can connect with me more online. My website, chriscorey.houserepublicans.wa.gov, is a great place to read my updates, watch videos like this one, ask to be added to our mailing list for newsletters, as well as easy ways to get in touch with me. I'm always happy to hear from constituents on issues affecting their day-to-day -day lives. That's why I'm here. That's why I spend time in the Capitol, is to best support you and be your representative here in Olympia. Thank you.